All right, so I got a quick word for you, and this is to someone specifically, like someone who has this kind of characteristics, amen? You that drink martinis every weekend, you that gets a case of beer every weekend, you that drink those Long Island iced teas every weekend with your girls or with your boys, you. You're trying to cover something, something up. You're trying to cover up some kind of pain that you went through, some kind of uh, disruption in your life or something like that. I don't know what it was. It could have been some abuse. Maybe your mother passed away. Maybe your father passed away. Maybe they abused you. I'm not sure. Maybe your brother died. I don't know. But you're trying to cover up something. And you're trying to make an excuse to cover up that pain. The excuse is, is that you had a long week. A long week. A long work week. And all of a sudden... Now you're saying, okay, I need to drink it up because I need to get some peace. I need to relax. And you say that you believe in Jesus, who is the Prince of Peace. You can receive your peace from Jesus. And not just when you're in trouble, but all the time. Did you know that? You can receive your peace from God's promises to you. Those promises are specifically for you. For all of mankind, but specifically for you too. So, if you actually believe and have faith in his promises for salvation, then you should receive Jesus. You should receive the Holy Spirit. And understand that God is blessing you. God is blessing you with things. You want to know why God is blessing you with things? Because that's the only way he can get your attention. Not by getting you drunk, but he'll bless you with a raise. He'll bless you with you know, great investments. He'll bless you with, you know, a car. He'll bless you with a house. He'll bless you with those things because that's the only way he can get your attention. But he's trying to transform your heart and transform your mind from the carnal things, from the things that will eventually rot and die into spiritual things. He's trying to make you look at the spiritual things because God is spirit. So there's no way that you can receive God just because you receive those things. You receive God through your faith in Jesus Christ. You maintain your faith in Jesus Christ by studying the scriptures and believing what you're reading. If you don't read it, if you don't study the scriptures, then you're not going to believe it that much. And, you know, it's it's so easy to believe someone when, they, when they're standing in front of you and they start speaking the word of God but they may not be speaking all of the word of God be careful of that that's why you got to go home and study the scriptures for yourself and find out the truth for yourself understand that person that person standing in front of you sounds so exciting they sound sounds so much exciting more than reading the Bible but God wants you you to receive the whole truth and nothing but the truth no lies no half truths since God is spirit where are you going to receive your peace from where does God want you to receive your peace from whatever happened in your life? I don't know exactly what happened, but I know something happened in which why you're drinking every weekend or why you're getting, you know, these martinis every weekend. Can you go a month without that martini? Can you go a month without those Long Island iced teas? Can you go a month without listening to your sensual music that talks about getting girls in the club or sexing some boy in the club or taking off your clothes? Can you go a month without that? And just focus on God. Just focus on Jesus' words. You know, God wants to spend some time with you in spirit. But the question is, like, do you want to spend time with the things that he's blessing you with? He's trying to get your attention, remember? He's trying to get your attention. Or do you want to spend time with his actual spirit? The spirit of God in his word. Um, if you don't really understand this, I'll just say this. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh. So, as you read His Word, the Bible, that means you're basically, God is basically talking to you about Himself, and about this world, and about yourself. Let God reveal Himself to you. Let God reveal the kingdom to you. Let God reveal the things that are hidden in that dark place that's in your heart. Because there's a reason why 
and you're drinking that. There's a reason why you're listening to those things. There's a reason. You're trying to cover things up. Let God bring his light into you and so that things can be illuminated, illuminated, and so that you can start to get rid of those things. Because in a dark room, you can't get rid of things that can't be seen. You'll just be grabbing empty air and you're hoping to get rid of it. But that's all I gotta say, guys. Just wanna say I love you. I love you enough to tell you the truth and to reveal the truth to you. Jesus first, God first, you made the kingdom always come first. Stay blessed in the Holy Spirit. Amen.